Who goes to Niagara Falls in November? Well, you and Edward, apparently. Here. He needs to stay warm. Gee, thanks. Hope he doesn't make me ride that Maids of the Mist thing. We'll both freeze. Well, you just have a good time and don't fall in. Or do. You're trying to get rid of me. Oh, Tracy, I have been trying to do that for decades. Sadly, no success. You okay? Yes, yes, I am fine. Why? Because you haven't left the house since you lost Jason. Monica, come with us. Daddy would love to have you with us. He loves everything that I hate. Okay, I'm kidding. It would do you good. Well, thank you, Tracy, thank you. But I've got plenty to keep me busy here. Suit yourself. Okay. Have fun. You should let that battle axe talk to you like that, Mom. What? Just now? <laughs> For Tracy and me, that was amicable. And I'm just glad she didn't spot you. AJ, I know you say you are being careful, but odds are odds. And the longer you stay here in Fort Charles, the more likely you're going to get caught. I already was. From Jason, and most of all, from your mother, who spent your whole life trying to keep you away from me. Michael? You okay? Not really. Someone caught you? Who? Oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about your run in with Michael Listen, last I, night? I told you that I was getting him back, that I would have a relationship with my son. I don't Mom, think Mom, you're Mom, we've this. Then we better discuss it some more. Because how could you show yourself to Michael? He's my son. How, how could I just give up on him? I mean, did you ever give up on Jason? Come on, Mom. I, I have thought about him every hour of every day since I left. I wondered, you know, what, what sports does the kid play? What does he look like? I mean, how is he doing in school? I've told you how he's doing academically. It's not the same. <sighs> look, I, I know I took a huge chance going to him. But he's my boy. I haven't seen him since he was a boy. And now he's a man. Mom, I've missed so much. I don't want to miss any more. I understand that. AJ, I do. I understand it. But you have to remember, when Michael was a little boy, all he knew was about the kidnappings and what Carly and Sonny taught him. Not exactly my biggest fans. Right. So what if he thinks you are dangerous and goes and tells somebody that you're alive? What's up? Hey, that didn't work when you were 14. It's not going to work now. What's going on? I've had better days. You can talk to me. I mean, I can't promise to fix it all, but I'm a good listener. Well, I've been working on that one. <laughs> well, since Jason's uh, gone, I've been thinking a lot about him. And my father. AJ. You said that Monica mentioned AJ when you went to see her. Yeah, he was... her son. She misses him. I'm sure, yeah. It doesn't change the kind of person AJ was. You know, he hurt a lot of people. Yeah, I was... I was there for the worst of it, remember? I know. That's why I wanted to keep you away from AJ. You know, he was so angry and bitter and entitled. He never once considered what was best for you. you know, the thing is, is I, I know how it ended. I, I, just, I never knew how it began. How what began? So a feud between you and AJ? It, it started with a court-ordered blood test when I was still pregnant with you. He wanted to take you away from me as soon as you were born. But why? Why, why would he want to do that? Did you do something to him? I mean, why would he feel justified to do that? Justified? AJ felt justified in everything he did. Why did he try to take me, though? I mean, when did he start hating you? Where's this coming from? <sighs> Somebody told me that you drugged AJ and you poured alcohol all over him so he'd think he'd, he'd fallen off the wagon. And that he wouldn't know that he was my father. Michael is 
not going to turn me in. How can you be so sure? Because he's my son. Biologically, yes. Every other connection with you is negative. I explained to him what would happen if he told anyone. Oh, so now we're talking emotional blackmail? No, no, I just, I told him the truth. And do you think the threat of you going to prison means anything to Michael? I... No, wait, wait, scratch that. It may mean everything to him if he has been listening to his parents. Because Sonny and Carly have been poisoning him against you and us forever. Okay, wait, no, wait a minute, that's not completely true. I mean, he comes to see you sometimes here at the house, right? AJ, it's holidays, and then we don't talk about you. You did the other day. Right here, he asked, what if, didn't he? What if I hadn't died? What if we had had a relationship? What Michael said was, if you were here, he would listen to what you have to say. That doesn't imply he wants a relationship. Okay, fine, fine, but it means that he has questions, and it means that he's willing to listen to my answers. I, I gotta believe that that's worth something. God, I hope so. Mom, I know you're concerned for me, but listen to me. I know, I know in my heart there's a part of Michael that hasn't written me off yet. And that part is going to stop him from turning me in. I have confidence in my son. One I don't have confidence in is Carly. Who said anything about Carly? Did you get this story about me and AJ from Monica? So is it, uh, is that true? Monica's grieving over Jason, Michael. I mean, she's not being very objective. Okay, so the story is no. not true. It happened right? a long time ago. I don't know why we're dredging it up. You weren't even born yet. I just want to know why you hated AJ so much. And why he hated you. I mean, it was his fault, right? Not yours. So just, just tell me the truth. Tell me that you did, did drug AJ. I mean, you wouldn't do that. Stupid. Felt trapped in a bad situation. You did it? I did it. Did she see you? Yes. Oh my it, God. It was an accident. Mom, it wasn't like when I went looking for Michael. This is why I have begged you to stay in this house. How could you be so careless? It's fine. No, it's not fine. It is definitely not fine. When did this happen? Last night after I saw Michael. And, and you neglected to mention this? I, I knew what the reaction was going to be. Uh, plus, I wanted you to get some sleep. Yeah, the police can be arriving okay, any second Mom, calm now. down. There's, there's not going to be any police, I promise. Oh? Did you do something to Carly? Don't laugh, AJ, did you? I'm sorry, no, no, no. I didn't do anything to her. But, um, she, she tripped when she saw me. She freaked out, she tripped, she knocked herself out, and then, uh, Sonny was there. Oh, oh, this just gets better and better. Yeah, least, I, he hadn't even seen me, okay? Look, when she came to, she told him what had happened. He didn't even believe her. As a matter of fact, he dragged her to go see my marker at the family crypt to convince her that I was still dead. How do you know all this? Did you follow them? I was already there. Oh. Mom, I, I wanted to see for myself. I mean, not, not my marker, but I mean Dad's and Emily's. And then she's seen Sonny and Carly come strolling in like they own the place. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it was great. Bragging that I was burning in hell while they got to raise my son. whole damn thing made me sick to my stomach. I am so not comfortable with this. Look, I'm sorry. I won't take any more chances, I promise. Oh, I think the damage has already been done, AJ. Mom, Sonny convinced her that it was all in her head. For now. For now it is. But all it will take is one lingering doubt, and you are on the fast track to prison. AJ was an alcoholic, trying to stay sober, and you, and you made him think he was drinking? I was desperate, and at the time, it seemed like my only option. Did you think about what you were doing to him? It was a really complicated situation at the well, time, Well, you have to give me a lot more than that, Mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was living with an older man at the time. His name was Tony Jones, and he was my mother's husband. Bobby and Tony's marriage broke up and Tony blamed me and we had a horrible fight so I took off. And I went looking for Jason. I went to Jake's and said, 
I found AJ and he was drunk. Well, he was hammered and I was out of control and without going into details, Michael, you were conceived. Okay. But you were the miracle that came out of all of that. Just please continue with the story, huh? AJ didn't remember sleeping with me and Tony and I got back together. I mean, he wasn't happy, but when he thought I was pregnant, he offered to marry me, and I thought at the time that that's what I wanted. You wanted to marry your, your mother's husband? I was a different person then. Okay, I was a scared, desperate person. Anyway, AJ remembered, started to remember that we had been together, and he told me that if he ever drank again, he'd have to go to rehab out of state. And he wouldn't be able to come back to Port Charles. So I made that happen. So you drugged him? I put him in an alley and I poured vodka all over him and I called his parents. So it would look more convincing, right? I was selfish and scared. And I paid for it. And I'm still paying for it. AJ paid for it more. Even if Carly figures out that I'm still alive, which, by the way, is doubtful, it doesn't really matter anymore. How can you say that? Carly would do anything to see you behind bars. Well, you know, let her try. Because I refuse to live my life in the shadows anymore. I'm getting my life back. You, you always say that, AJ. It's just not realistic. You'll see. Listen, it... It has been great having you here, especially with Jason gone. But we have, we've worked too hard. We have given up too much to have it all disappear now. Please, please leave Fort Charles while you still can. I don't want to lose another son. No matter how you felt about AJ in the past, did not give you the right to drug him. You're right. But once I did it, there was no going back. AJ found out what I had done, and we went to court. Michael, he wanted to take you away from me before you were even born. Or maybe he just wanted to be my father. No, take responsibility. no, he didn't. He was too weak, Michael, and too angry. He just wanted to impress the Quartermains. He would have taken you away from me, and he would have taken you to them, and that's why I made Jason your father. But that's not how it works, Mom. You can't make somebody my father when they're not. Jason? He was the first to hold you. He was the first to love you. And Jason protected you when I was too sick to be your mom. Jason was more a father to you in that first year than AJ ever could be. The point is, AJ never even had a chance. Yes, he did have a chance, Michael. Do you remember when he kidnapped you? And when, and when he let me think that you were dead? And when he told you that I didn't want you anymore and that I didn't love you anymore? Do you remember that? Yeah, you know, that was awful, I know. Awful. No, there are no words, Michael. It wasn't just awful. I'm not defending what he did. I'm just saying he was reacting to something that you started. Michael, it was a long, ugly fight, okay? And every step of the way, AJ got more twisted and more angry. So, yeah, I might have started it. But it's no comparison to how AJ ended it. I don't know what to say. How to feel? Hey, look, I, I don't know. Maybe I should have talked to you about this a while ago. I, I, I really didn't think there was a point. We're family, Michael. AJ's not a part of it. He's gone. No, he's not. I can't go back into hiding. I can't do it. Not if you see Michael. Hey, Jay, you always say things like this. This is, this is where I belong. This is my home, here with you and with my son. Except you are going to be here. You're going to be in a prison cell. I'll figure something out. What does that mean? It means whatever happens, you're not going to be involved. This time I clean up my own mess. And why doesn't that make me feel better? Hey, have I ever given you reason not to trust me? I, I'm kidding. Don't answer that. No, I am not. Oh, AJ, this is a pattern with you. You see, Michael, you want him to love you. You want a relationship, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. 
There are no shortcuts. All of these obstacles in front of you, they are real. They are very, very real. And they're of my own making. Are you, are you surprised that I'm finally taking responsibility for myself? I told you I'm not the same guy that I used to be. Look, Mom, I'm just... I want a chance to prove that to you and to Michael. And what if Michael doesn't give you that chance? I, uh, I guess I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. You thought he would have already reached out to you. I know. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I didn't get through to him at all. What do you mean, AJ isn't gone? Why would you say that? Uh, forget it. Do you know something about him? Uh, Mom, I can't... Michael, is someone Mom. talking to you about AJ? I gotta go. Michael! Look, Dad, just please stop. Stop. I appreciate it. I really, really do. But you, me, as roommates, just not happening, Why not? okay? Because, unlike the Buchanans, I don't want to live with my family my whole life. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with all of them. I'll just find a new place. Okay. But if you have a hard time, you know, my, my offer always stands. Thank you. You did not just compare us to the Buchanan. I know. I'm Ever sorry. did that again. Ever. I'm sorry. That was bad. Unforgivable. Who was that? It was my landlord. Hey, Carly. What's up? I need you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I just really need to talk. Okay. And, and I, I don't know what to do because I usually call Jason and I... I can't call Jason, and I don't mean to offend you by telling you that because you're not a substitute. No, I just didn't know what to do. Look, I don't mind being a substitute. I'm, I'm wearing a black shirt, right? <laughs> I'd love to help you. I need some information first. Why are you crying? It's Michael. What about Michael? It's about his relationship with his father. Sonny or the dead guy? It's AJ. The dead guy. Only he's not as dead as I thought. AJ, you cannot force a relationship with Michael. I know, Mom. I just, I just keep feeling like if I... I don't know, if I had some more time to talk to him, you know... Well, maybe, you, maybe you can. Someday. Someday's not good enough. Not anymore. God, I just... I wish you would just walk right through those doors, you know? What driver, worth his wages, doesn't have a spare tire? We are the Quartermains. What the hell?